Our Jesse Degriado spoke to many of the anxious residents at the scene, but one in particular searching for her service dog. Desperate and distraught, Cynthia Cruz struggled with officers. She was trying to reach her pets, including her service dog, that she believed were trapped. They lived just below where it was thought the fire might have started, in an upstairs apartment. Yet a short time later, she learned they'd been rescued by firefighters. Every single one of them. I'm a dog, a cat, and a guinea pig. <laughs> I'm so happy. His white coat partially soaked and stained by debris, her dog was in safe hands. <laughs> I'm sure he was really scared. He's shaking right now. Um, I'm just glad he made it out. This time, a greatly relieved Cruz ran towards her beloved Kingsley, a Grand Pyrenees she'd only had about a year. Baby boy! Oh, hi, honey. Oh, you made it, baby. Oh, you're a survivor. Yes, you are. Oh, my big boy. Mommy loves you so much. As her service dog, Kingsley gives her emotional support, even at a moment like this. He keeps me calm. He's there for me. Especially after a sudden devastating fire. But I don't care about losing anything. As long as my babies are okay. Well, according to the fire department spokesperson, they've not been told about any pets that may have perished in this fire. He also says apartment management has relocated two of the residents, and the rest are being assisted by the American Red Cross. And we're also told the building was equipped with smoke alarms that were going off when firefighters arrived. We're live in the 10,000 block of Broadway. Jesse De Ollado, KSAT 12 News.